Hello, glad to have you on the wellness segment. I am Perpetual Fasan Repeater. Prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer. Many prostate cancers grow slowly and are confined to the prostate gland, where they may not cause serious harm. However, while some types of prostate cancer grow slowly and may need minimal or even no treatment, other types are aggressive and can spread quickly. Joining us to further break this down is Dr. Samson Shonowo. I hope I got that. Yeah. <laughs> Good to have you finally. Glad to be here. Definitely. So we're talking about um, prostate cancer today. So what exactly is prostate cancer? That's one. And then from there, we'll move on to the cause. What is prostate cancer? Okay. There are two words in there. There's mm -hmm. prostate and there's cancer. So I would like to start with the prostate. The prostate, unfortunately, is only found in men. Mm -hmm. It's a gland. You know, the sperm from men is usually produced in the testicles. Now, when the testicles produce the sperm, it is usually very thick. It is the prostate that adds the watery part to the sperm. You know, the sperm cells are like little tadpoles. You understand? So, what the, the watery part that the prostate adds to the sperm to make it semen. Semen is sperm plus seminal fluid. That is what the prostate produces. So, it is that that contains all the nourishment and the food that the sperm will need to use on its way to meet the female egg. So that is what the prostate does. It's the size of an agbaluma uh, or, or the African star apple. You know, that's the size. It's found in between the bladder and the urethra. That's the chibo, the bladder and the penis, but inside. Okay. So cancer, how would I explain that? Um, I think everybody knows cancer to a very large extent. But people so don't really cancer know what that is. happens in the prostate. No, let's, let's, let's just put it that way. <laughs> so let's talk about the cause. The cause, funnily enough, up till now, the actual cause is not yet known. The research search is still ongoing. But it has been said that it is usually due to the changes in the cells that make up the prostate. You know, they just. Some cells just refuse not to go along with the programming that is already there for the prostate. When it's time for them to divide, they are supposed to divide. When it's time for them to die, they are supposed to die. Some will say, I shall not die, but leave. And they'll just keep dividing and dividing and they'll start misbehaving. So that is basically what cancer is, you understand? Some people believe it is genetic. Well, I, I believe that as well. Almost everything is genetic, both physical, mental, everything is genetic. While some believe um, okay, it is also said that too much of the hormone testosterone, you know, when the prostate is being bombarded with too much of testosterone, it is also implicated in the cause of prostate cancer. All right, let's look at the risk factors. Are there things that predispose a person to coming down with prostate cancer? Yes, yes, yes. For any disease, it's the age group. It's more commonly found in men above 50 years of age. Or let me just say, as from 50 years, the risk of developing prostate cancer increases. It is uncommon before the age of 45, but it can still be found, but it's rare before the age of 45, but you find it in men 50 and above. Ethnicity, people of African descent, you know, whether you are Asian, African, or Black African, or African American, if you have black gene in your blood, you are more susceptible to coming down with prostate cancer. It's commoner in blacks than in whites, but it's also commoner in Asians, but not as common as in blacks. Okay, okay. Understand? Then um, it's also people with high fat diet, men who, whose diet is high in fat. You know, then there's the genetic aspect, which I believe is the cause of everything that happens to humans in this world, genetics. It is said that the, there's this BRCA1, BRCA2 gene. That's the gene responsible for breast cancer. You understand? So any man that has someone who a female or whose family member has had breast cancer before, breast cancer happens in males too. Anyone who has a family member that has had breast cancer before should watch out because you might be susceptible to having prostate cancer as well. It's the same gene oh that is responsible for for both. Then people who have been exposed to some type of pesticides, oh, like the one okay. in, that the Americans used in Vietnam, you know, they sprayed all their crops with, uh, with herbicides, sorry, I meant herbicides, to kill all their crops so that the soldiers would starve. So the soldiers who sprayed the thing inhaled it, the Americans who sprayed it inhaled it and got it, the Vietnamese who got it and they came down with all sorts of cancer, including 
prostate cancer. So, yeah, then smoking, tobacco, tobacco. I think lifestyle is really very important. Yes, lifestyle, lifestyle choice, Smoke, seriously. Smoking tobacco. Okay. Not marijuana tobacco. Smoking tobacco, alcohol intake, you know, unhealthy lifestyle, so to speak, would predispose. One to coming down with prostate cancer. Or any type of cancer at all. Actually, yeah. you know, while you were talking, you talked about age. So um, if a man is nearing that particular age, how sh what should that man do? Mm. You, may, you, you, you talked about 50, 45 and mostly 50. So what should a man do when he gets to that age just so he prevents himself from coming down with this prostate doesn't, cancer? This doesn't, well, my own personal advice okay. from research, I found out that most men that come down with prostate cancers are the Christian Christian men, especially the widowers, who no longer have wives, or men who are not sexually active. They are more, most likely old Christian men who are married to Jesus, you know. So they usually don't have sex. And um, I belong to that school of thought that believes an ejaculation a day keeps prostate cancer away. It's an organ, so it has a job to do. If we don't allow it to do its job, Tends to misbehave. All right, so apart from that belief, what else? It's not a belief, it's a fact. Okay, so apart from that fact, what else? Mm, to prevent? Yeah, you go for regular checks. They, once you are predisposed to have it and you are to have it, there's really nothing you can do. Aside from running away from all those risk factors I stated, you understand? So there's really nothing else you can do. You just go for regular checks and once it is caught early, the good thing about it is if it is caught early, it can be treated. 99% survivor. Some will even say 100%, but in medicine generally we don't say 100%, but it has a very high survivor rate if caught early. All right, so what are the symptoms to look out for since um, attacking it early makes it better? Uh, generally, well, okay, symptoms. Prostate cancer, it might not, like other cancers, might not even show any symptoms at all. But if symptoms do, for people who do have symptoms, usually painful urination, difficulty in starting urinating and maintaining urination poor urinary stream blood in urine blood in semen painful ejaculation low back pain that's for how would i say the the mild or low grade cancer but if it if it is advanced then you can start having bone pain unexplained weight loss you know things like that when you say bone pain is there a particular part of the body Generally, it General. usually starts from the back. You know, you know, the prostate is closer to the hip, so it spreads to that place first. But as time goes on, it spreads to other parts, other bones. So you have generalized bone pain. Okay, so in a situation where someone didn't catch it early, well, someone didn't know early, and then it goes on to maybe one of the very terrible stages, what are the likely complications? The complications will depend on the organ that are spread to. Okay. For those, if it's spreads to the bone, of course, movement will be almost impossible, you know. If it's spreads to the liver, depending on the organ it's spread, but at the end of the day, it ultimately ends in death. You know, like all other cancers. You understand what I'm saying? End stage cancers are, they are no joke at all. It's not something you will wish on your enemy. You get, so the complications are not specific. It depends on what organ. The symptoms of complications you see depends on what organ. But generally, you see weight loss. You you see them; they are, they look very very sick. That's when the so that's. All right. In wrapping up this conversation, we'd like to know your thoughts, basically and generally, to men. One of my thoughts, I see you are not comfortable with it. I will, so I will not go there. You know, but generally, I believe men should, as from the age of forty, go for regular checks. You know. If you have problems urinating, if you feel you have painful urination or painful ejaculation, you go see a doctor, have your prostate checked, especially if you are above the age of 40. You know, regular medical checks, you cannot, you know, take it away from your life, especially if you live in a place like Lagos where you are exposed to all types of toxins, 
you know, daily, on a daily basis. No one in Lagos cannot say, I did not inhale one bad smoke in a day. You understand what I'm saying? So we really need to check ourselves. I would say, not just for prostate, for other diseases, once you are 30, you really, really need in Lagos. If you've lived in Lagos for 30 years, the benchmark, according to the books, is 40 years. But I've been practicing for 15, 16 years. But I can tell you, as from the age of 30, because I've seen people less than 30 with blood pressure of 220, 140. So as from the age of 30, you really, really have to start visiting the doctor. Wellness checks. Yeah, wellness checks. Thank you very much. And, and the likes, so. All right, thank you so much, doctor. We had a great time hosting you. You're welcome. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I hope you had a great time listening to Dr. Shinawa. He said a lot, and we have come to realize that one thing is very important, and that's the fact that you need to choose healthy lifestyle for yourself. And not only that, once you're 40, 45, thereabouts, you need to go for regular checks just to be sure that you are fine. Thanks for watching.